Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this video we have another very interesting and challenging question from Algebra. We will be solving this question for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be 0. So x square minus x minus 1 cannot be 0. Now I will plug in over here x equal to 0. So if I will apply x equal to 0, LHS will be minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 over minus 1. RHS will be 0. Is 1 equal to 0? No, it is not. So I can write x can't be 0. Let's check x equal to plus minus 1 also. So this time LHS will be 0 as x square is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 equal to 1 over 80. Is this true? No. So x cannot be plus minus 1 also. So let's use this result. x cannot be 0. I will take x common from the numerator, x common from the denominator. So once I will take x common from the numerator, it will come out as x cube. So in the bracket, x minus 1 over x power will be 3 over x is common from the denominator. So I will write x minus 1 minus 1 over x equal to x square over 80. Now we can cancel x, x cube and x square. So I will write here x minus 1 over x whole cube over x minus 1 over x minus 1 equal to 1 over 80. Now I will flip our numerator and denominator as x cannot be equal to plus minus 1. So I can consider the reciprocal both sides. Let me write x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x whole cube equal to 80. Now I will split our numerator with denominator. So I can write x minus 1 over x over x minus 1 over x whole cube minus 1 over x minus 1 over x whole cube equal to 80. Now we can cancel 1 x minus 1 over x. So degree will be power will be 2 here and numerator will be 1. So I can write 1 over x minus 1 over x whole square minus x minus 1 over x whole cube equal to 80 or I can write 1 over x minus 1 over x whole square minus 1 over x minus 1 over x whole cube equal to 80. Now we can assume 1 over x minus 1 over x equal to k suppose. So I can write our equation as k square minus k cube equal to 80. Now I can split 80 as 64 plus 16. So I will take all the terms to one side. I can write k square minus 16 minus k cube minus 64 equal to 0. I can write k square minus 4 square minus is common. I will write in the bracket k cube plus 4 cube equal to 0. 
Now we will apply two formulas a square minus b square and a cube plus b cube. So I can write k plus 4 times k minus 4 minus k plus 4 times k square minus 4k plus 16 equal to 0. Now k plus 4 is common. So I can write here k plus 4 times. In other bracket I will write k minus 4 minus k square plus 4k minus 16 equal to 0. Or we can write k plus 4 times minus k square plus 5k minus 20 equal to 0. Now I will multiply both sides by minus 1. So I can write k plus 4 as it is. Here I can write k square minus 5k plus 20 equal to minus 1 times 0 will be 0. So we can write either k plus 4 will be equal to 0 or k square minus 5k plus 20 will be equal to 0. Now I will consider one equation here. So I will write k plus 4 equal to 0. And second equation was k square minus 5k plus 20 equal to 0. Let's check discriminant here. So I will write as per formula b square minus 4ac. So b is coefficient of k. So I will be writing here minus 5 whole square. Minus 4 times a is coefficient of k square which is 1. C is constant which is 20. Minus 5 a square is 25 minus 80. So we are getting discriminant negative. It will generate complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation. Now from equation k plus 4 equal to 0, I can conclude k must be equal to negative 4. So k was our substitution. It was 1 over x minus 1 over x equal to negative 4. Consider reciprocal both sides. So I will write x minus 1 over x will be equal to negative 1 over 4. Now I will simplify. I can write x square minus 1 over x equal to minus 1 over 4. Or I can write 4x square minus 4 after cross multiplying the terms equal to minus x. Or I can write 4x square plus x minus 4 equal to 0. We have to solve this quadratic equation. Let me write here 4x square plus x minus 4 equal to 0. So I will use quadratic formula x will be equal to minus b so minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so 1 square minus 4 times 4 times minus 4 over 2 times a so 4. I will write minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 64 over 8 or I can write minus 1 plus minus square root 65 over 8. 
so here we have two real solutions for our equation now we have to check where this denominator is zero so that we can cross examine our answer is not matching with the rejected list so i can write x will be equal to minus b so 1 plus minus square root of b square is 1 minus 4ac will be plus 4 over 2 times 1 so 2 so x cannot be equal to 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 which is not matching with our answer so we will accept our solution minus 1 plus minus square root 65 over 8 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe till next video take care of yourself bye bye